Hey YouTube, good afternoon. Paul Phillips here with Pathtech Web Design, or maybe I should say season's greetings considering it's December the 12th. We've got kind of an interesting review for you this afternoon. We're going to take a look at the Italian made B-Grip. It's made from a hard uh, composite material, super durable, and basically what it is is a bracket that allows you to mount your digital SLR uh, onto the bracket itself and then you can run your belt through it and have the camera sit uh, at your side and it's really easy to access. Uh, the only stipulation, I guess, I've tried it with my battery grip and without, and it's definitely something that you want to use without the battery grip so that the camera's not sticking out too far from your hip. The product consists of the B-grip itself, which has a small uh, red locking mechanism on the top. It has a, a really uh, robust release mechanism here, and once the lever is pulled up like so, the plate that mounts onto your camera comes out, you can put it back in, it locks really securely, you can jump up and down with this product. So basically what comes in the box is the mounting plate for your camera, the B-grip bracket itself, there's also a security cable that allows you to attach the cable through uh, a couple of holes here on the bracket and then the other end can be attached to your camera and this is for two reasons in case the the heavy mechanism ever failed your camera won't drop on the ground but I also think it's good for security somebody walks up beside you and tries to pull a camera off you um, the locking mechanism is going to secure it and also the little safety cable but between you me and the lamp post I'll probably never use the safety cable but it comes with a kit so I've got to mention it okay got to be honest when I do these reviews. So there's a neat little uh, instruction manual that tells you how to use the system and set it up. There's also a little rubber grommet that comes on the back of the camera mount and it just keeps your the screw that you tighten up, it locks it in place so that it can't move. And you can see this on the, the B-Grip website and they, there's some videos on YouTube where you can get a really uh, close look on this. So that's another piece that comes with it. There's also a strap where you can mount the B-Grip onto a backpack. Uh, and so the idea would be that the B-Grip could be mounted on one of the shoulder harnesses here uh, for your backpack. And we'll take a look at that in a second as well. There's also a very heavy duty belt that comes for the B-Grip. And uh, your typical seat belt material times about four. This is really heavy duty stuff. I mean, you're not gonna cut this very easily with a knife, but um, Basically, the belt just goes around like so, almost like a scuba diver's belt. And then your B-grip can be slided onto the belt like so, and you can position it anywhere you want. But uh, to be honest, I'll probably never use the belt in a day-to-day -day routine because I see this uh, piece of equipment being used you know, while I'm on vacation and I'm in minimalist mode and I'm just walking around with my digital SLR and I want some way to take the weight off so I don't have to hang hang the camera around my uh, neck and cause my neck some strain, I can use the B-grip and it's easy to access. You can get at your camera very quickly. Okay, so the final piece of the kit is basically a little rain cover that'll fit over your digital SLR. So if you get caught in a downpour, you're not gonna get soaked. And the rain cover itself has a little uh, bungee pull tab on it, so that's a handy little feature. So let's take a look and see how this thing works. I'm gonna demonstrate how to put the B-grip on your belt. Slide it onto your belt like so. Try and keep your microphone cable out of the way if you can. Tighten up your belt. Okay. Step two, we're just gonna take the camera plate and we're gonna mount it on the bottom of our digital SLR. little behind the scenes camera work here. We got we are a trusty uh, Canadian loony here. We're going to tighten up the screw like so. I'm going to take the rubber grommet locking mechanism and just push it down in place. So it just keeps the screw in place and helps to keep it from moving. A neat little feature of the mounting plate is that there's a little arm that opens up like so. And so the idea of that is that you can mount the camera on a table. It gives you a nice little stand if you're doing a macro shot or if you just need sort of like a, a temporary tripod set up, something to stabilize the camera. But once the mount is on the camera, you're ready to rock and roll. 
Bring the camera over to the side, make sure your locking tab is open. Lift up the tab, push her down, and that's it. I'm gonna move the red tab to lock it in place. And now, you know, you can jump up and down and it's fairly steady. I'm not worried about this thing coming off at all. It's, it's really uh, a well-made piece of equipment and that heavy locking me mechanism on the top is not something that's gonna let go uh, anytime soon. So that's basically how you mount the camera. To release it, you just press the red tab. It's a, it's a little uh, butterfly valve like so. Lift the locking mechanism and out she comes. So I could see using this on vacation where you wanna go in minimalist, minimalist mode, you're walking around, you just want something to, to hold your camera, lock it in place and away you go. Kind of a neat little tool for sure. Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle uh, with the B-grip is that it comes with the added ability that the B-grip can be fastened onto the shoulder strap uh, of your favorite backpack. So in this case, we're using our Kata R104. So uh, basically to attach the strap, there's a piece of neoprene that runs under the strap and through the slots on the B-grip and then it's held in place with a pin on either side. It's fairly easy to attach. I played around with it a little bit beforehand just to get the height of the B-grip uh, adjusted to where I want it. So let's give it a try. I think mostly I, I played with the height adjustment because I wanted to be able to use this cross strap. It brings your, stro your shoulder straps together so it's nice and comfortable. Your grip's in a good location. And then you can bring your camera like so, lock it in place, hit the red tab. Not bad at all. I think if you're on a long hike on a mountain, you might appreciate this. There's no weight on my neck whatsoever. Extra safety, I can still throw the camera strap over my shoulder like so. You got the camera right there. You could also use the security strap if you want that little extra uh, security. Of course, if you're like me, I'll probably never use it. But uh, got to be honest with you. But uh, definitely, this feels quite comfortable. So I'll have to get it out in the field and give it a real test. But uh, from what I'm seeing here, I think it's quite an interesting product. So uh, again, it's available from Adorama Camera in New York. I think the price is around $50. If you're looking for something for vacation or what have you, the B-Grip is a great choice. Okay, so happy holidays. Keep shooting, and we'll see you next time.